So I'm at the uh, famous Forsyth and Houston steps over here. You can see. Uh, usually my late night thinking spot. Uh, so Comic Con, me and Daniel Norton got to do a crazy huge demo there. Pretty much I had to leave for Europe and we got the approval like a week before I left. So that gave us like three weeks to put it together. As soon as I landed, we were going right into Comic Con. So I get my model set up. We iron out the idea that this demo is going to be more about like tech, uh, cool in-camera tricks like shutter drags and multiple exposures and things like that to make things look cool without them having to do a ton of Photoshop and stuff like that. Where are we shooting and what are we shooting in and what's the space and what's the ambient light? Thursday hits, I run to the Javits Center and I start doing light readings with a Sakonic. So I get in there and I start reading the space and um, I'm, I'm checking out different variations of the exposure and I send pictures of the readouts to Daniel and uh, Cliff Hausen from Photo just to let them know what we were dealing with. And it looked like we were going to be okay for shutter drags and things like that. So Comic-Con comes, Saturday comes, and we go, problem number one, get everyone to meet up. One of my models already wasn't showing up, the one that I was going to shoot. Uh, the model that I booked for Daniel was the first one there, and she came all the way from Philly to shoot with us and come to Comic-Con. So that was amazing. So I'm down one model, and we got to go. We get through security, we start lugging the gear up, and we get to the space, and there's a panel going on already, so we start setting up behind that, that panel. We're setting up what we think might be our lighting, and Daniel sets up his double exposure trick and nails it, just shreds it and kills it. And I'm over here going, okay, I wanna do a certain type of shutter drag, but I don't have the model that I'm gonna be using, so I'm, I use Marissa, because she was awesome, and she's always awesome. I wanted to have a ghost for her with the pink light coming from the Westcott RGBW flex panels. And I wanted to have a light inside her Canon because she was dressed as, my model was going to be dressed as Samus, you know, Metroid. And she had the Canon and everything. So I wanted to make sure that light was inside that Canon and could drag and make a, a laser beam coming at you. you know? It wasn't working. It just was not working out for me. Um, the amount of drag I needed, I was catching ambient light. And so I'm doing ratios, I'm trying to figure it out, and I get to a point where I'm like, I'm okay with it, you know? So now that panel ends and we scramble, right? I let I have Dan, Daniel go first because guess what? My model still didn't show up. So Daniel wanted to do a shot where she's standing on one side of the frame with the glove about to take it off, and on the other side of the frame, she's reaching out like she's touching you. However, even though the test worked for Daniel, he ran into a snag at the point of demo. Yeah, the tether stopped working and we couldn't get to come back up. And I'm on there with a mic and I'm trying to buy us time and I'm trying to chug us through this. And it's a dead demo at this point. There's no shots coming up. There's nothing to look at. I'm trying to explain things. I'm taking questions. Um, sorry about the sirens. All right. So he finally gets through that. It's like, great. And as soon as he's done, my model shows up. So that I just met Caitlin. I see the cannon. I don't know if my lights are going to fit into it or whatever, but I make it happen, right? So I just start going for it. And I start explaining how, you know, shutter drags work and how ghosting works and how you can make streaks and keeping the shutter open allows for ambient light. So I take a shot and I show them a frame and it's kind of like mad because it's a single light and it's, the rest of the light is going to be all drag, right? So I turn on the Westcott and I show the pink and they go, oh, and they start going. And I can see people's faces going like, oh, what's this going to be, you know? And I'm like, all right, cool, we're, we're good, we can do this. Next up, I do the drag and I make the ghost happen. And they go, whoa, and I'm like, yeah, you can do this in camera. And then I do that drag and then I put um, a loom cube inside the barrel of her cannon and I make that into a laser. And it, you know, they weren't the best shots in the world, but it was a demo and we were having a rough go and our momentum was gone, our energy was down. But this crowd was building as they saw these shots coming up. They were psyched on it. Daniel got his shot off, we showed both images, people were psyched on it, and then they just kept coming up to us after asking us questions, and uh, they DM'd a bunch, uh, bunch of things saying, like they knew it was rough, but they go, I learned a bunch of stuff, and just seeing you guys work through the issues, got them inspired to go shoot, and at the end, in the, in the core of it, that's what this is about, right? It's just getting people psyched on doing this, elevating their own craft, and just letting them know that Things are gonna go wrong and things are gonna happen, but you can still make something legit happen. I just wanna thank uh, my models, um, Sonia and Caitlin, even though Caitlin, you were late. Special thanks to Cliff Hausner for the pro photo hookup, and thanks to New York Comic Con for letting us do this demo. 
Really appreciate it. Reed Pop, all the people, Marissa, Fernando, Dave, uh, you know, the whole crew. And I want to thank everybody that was at Comic-Con and all the uh, cosplayers that stuck around and stuck through that demo um, and believe that we could get them some legit information and wisdom and some cool shots to look at. So, all right, guys, I will see you on the next episode. Stay tuned. There's more from Europe. Lots of cool stuff. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the bell for all our stuff, and I will see you guys next time. You write me in the comments. I'm sure I'll make more sense down there. Thank you, guys. Later. So I want, first thing I want you to notice is the lighting is a certain amount of distance from the background, right?